Hi there. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Hurry Out for Baking Show. Just a little uh, disclaimer before this next episode is that this episode that you're about to watch is from season one, which was hosted on IGTV. So it's not the best format for YouTube. Uh, it's vertical. And I know that it's kind of annoying to watch, but I hope you'll watch it anyway. So yeah, enjoy. Enjoy the episode. Let me know what you think. Uh, and share it with your friends. I mean, obviously that's what we're all here to do. So thanks for watching and uh, enjoy this very awkward episode of A Very Awkward Baking Show. How do I do endings? Yes? Enjoy! Uh. Oh, God. Hello. Hello. Welcome back to A Very Awkward Baking Show. Or should I say, a very fancy baking show. Ooh, ah, delicious. I feel like a Kardashian, it's so exciting. This is not a special occasion, it's just a special dress. The lovely Trisha from Your Favorite Dresses kindly, very kindly, offered to let me borrow a beautiful dress to, uh, film the next episode in. Who says that very awkward baking shows can't get cool swag, right? Fancy. Yeah, it's me. It's you, girl. Don't you worry. Mmm. Yeah, so, um, this is the tightest thing I've worn in months and months, so that's exciting. But, you know, I dressed up for the occasion. I got my hair all curled. Well, I mean, I curled my own hair. Very exciting stuff. Put on fancy, put on lipstick? Are you kidding me? What kind of show is this? We're getting high brow on this show, eh? Yeah, anyway, for the very fancy occasion of wearing a dress on this show, I decided to make a very special fancy recipe of ba -ba -ba -ba! Confetti Cupcakes. Ooh. This book is called Back in the Day Bakery. It's by Cheryl Day and Griffith Day. All the recipes are made with love. Look at these two. You can just tell. They have love in their hearts. Yeah, I've been wanting to do a recipe from here, and so I thought these fun confetti cupcakes would be perfect for this fun, colorful dress. Another exciting thing is that I bought an apron because I can't do this without spilling something. I wanted to get an apron like they have in the Bon Appetit test kitchen with like the cross back. And so after some searching, I found one that wasn't $80 and now it's all tangled. Stand by while I untangle this. What, what the heckers? Okay. Yeah, before I put on this apron, we can look at this beautiful dress. Look at that. It, oh, ignore my socks. But like, look at it. It goes like, oh, it's like a midi, midi length. Got a cool neck. Look at this. Oh my god. Okay. Feeling cute. Feeling cute. Look at that. Look at that. I am a professional now, you guys. Oh, I feel like I'm in a cooking show. Like... Am I a famous baker, such as, I don't know, Paula Deen? Who knows? I do. The answer is no. Bam! Professional. Okay. I'm excited for this recipe because it's not going to take seven hours. That's the most important part of my day today, is that I can think I can bang this out pretty quick, but I can only do that if I stop talking, so... Here we go. <laughs> so the ingredients are milk, eggs, vanilla extract, flour, sugar, baking powder, salt, a shit ton of butter, butter galore, multicolored sprinkles, icing sugar, and that's it. See, it's look, there's like no ingredients in this. It's so easy. Like the easiest thing I'll ever have to make on the show probably. I've preheated the oven to 350, or it's preheating now, and I got some fancy multicolored um, little cups. I'm excited. A large measuring cup or a small bowl whisked together one quarter cup of milk, the 
egg whites and vanilla set aside. Oh yeah, I am having this recipe because it makes 24 cupcakes and I only have one pan. Um, plus I don't need 24 cupcakes in my house. So that's where we're at. Cool. Vanilla. All right, egg whites. Let's do this. Let's do this egg whites. Egg and whiten. Egg and whiten. Okay, so we're gonna separate the egg whites. I'm gonna just do it in these two bowls here. Let's separate some eggs. Ew. 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 <laughs> Look at that. Ow. Get out. There we go. A nice booger. Ugh. Just separate. What is the problem? What is the issue here? What do you do with the egg yolks? Like, when you separate? Because I don't need the egg yolks at all. I just need the whites. Can you tell I don't separate eggs a lot? Oh, oh. All right. I think a shell went in. We're just gonna continue. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. It just adds a little bit of fiber, right? Look at this whisking. Yum. Okay, I think that's good. I'm setting them aside. Goodbye. I'll miss you. I won't. That's why. I will very much. I'm crazy. Okay. Another exciting thing is that for this recipe, I get to use my hand mixer. How have we gotten like six recipes in and I haven't used my hand mixer yet? Not a stand mixer. If you thought that I said that, a hand mixer. Very bare bones. Yeah. Oh, I need to go back up there. Damn it. Uh, damn it. Damn it. No. Oh, my kitchen's so tiny. Okay, I have a bowl. Bam. We're gonna mix together the flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt on low speed. Ooh, I'm just gonna get flour, like, literally everywhere. Okay. <laughs> Good thing, I'm wearing an apron. One flour is what it takes. Making confetti cakes. These are gonna be the life of the party, these cupcakes. All right, one and a half cups of flour. Three quarters cup of sugar. I can do that. One. Also, this is a lot of sugar. It's like half the amount of sugar to flour ratio. Can you guys tell me if you know if baking powder expires? I would really very much like to know that. You know, asking for a friend over here. Nothing to do with this baking powder. It's fresh. <laughs> I can do just a tiny bit of salt. Just, just a little bit. Just a bit. Okay, I need to clear this a little bit. So let's do that. Just get a another editing marvel over here. Ready? Three, two, one. Bam! Look at that. I'm amazing. Okay, so I need to cut the butter into little like cubes. I swear like one day you know we'll have a recipe where we don't have to do butter baths but that day is not today. It's supposed to be at room temperature. Um, how important is that? I don't want to waste my time. Why don't we put it on a plate and just heat it up a teeny Tiny bit, a tiny little bit. We can do like 30 seconds. Just like soften it a tiny bit. Because I feel like it's just gonna like not, it's not gonna have a good time. Eh. Look at this pocket. Look at this. I can hold so many things in here. I don't have anything on here at the moment, but I can. Ah! Ah! Shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! I was too busy looking at pockets. Damn it! No melted. Oh no! Okay, I don't think I was supposed to get that much anyway. Butter is supposed to be my best friend, and it's turning out to be my worst enemy. I swear this show is not scripted. I, I'm just that much of an idiot. We're just gonna cut this part up. Look at that! It's room temperature. Wow. Oh, I totally screwed the pooch on this one. <laughs> Having a fun day. Okay. Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, that's not. It's not. Ew. 
it might. It might. It might. It might work. It might still work. It might still work. So a really fun fact about this is that there is no low speed. This thing goes a hundred or nothing. Where are we? No key. Yeah. So much flower. Uh, okay, you guys. Okay. So it's supposed to resemble coarse sand. I would say it kind of resembles coarse sand. I think it's fine. It might not have enough butter in it. I don't know. No, 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 no. Oh no. Okay, that's enough. This is why I don't use these very much. They're too strong. And now this thing is insane. Okay. So it turned into some sort of like dome. It's also like really thick. Is that normal? I don't know. So we've got our mixture. It looks really thick, so I'm not sure if this is the right consistency. It doesn't say, but hopefully it is. Gently fold in the sprinkles. Heck yeah. Third cup of sprinkles. Who's gonna use all these sprinkles? We're just gonna... <laughs> okay. That's, that's cool. <laughs> sprinkles. Yay! Look at those sprinkles. Look at that. They're getting in there. I don't think I have enough sprinkles. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, this is so fun. There we go. Sprinkle it up. Okay. Gonna scoop these into these bad boys. Delicious. And nutritious. Maybe I'll make an actual like nutritious, like a like, zucchini loaf or something like that. I don't know. Why would I want to do that? Baking is for a treat yourself, not for zucchini loaves. Anyway, I don't have to talk to this part. It's not mandatory. It, you can just cut it out. Like, you can just edit it. It's fine. But the people want to know. Can you tell I'm going quarantine crazy? Ha 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 ha. I've been doing this for only like, like it's been less than an hour. We're good. We're all good. We're all good. I also I went to the grocery store today to get some more ingredients for this. They had like twelve quick rising yeast. It's a hard word to say. <laughs> quick rising yeast uh, tubs, and I almost got it to make bread for next time. But well, I'm still a little nervous. Not gonna lie. Here are my little cakes. Little cakey boys. Eee. Okay, I'm gonna put these in the oven. Okay. So I'm going to leave you for 25 minutes. In the meantime, you know, watch your favorite episode of uh, your favorite sitcom. Because, you know, that's how long this will take. That's what I'm going to do. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. See you later. Goodbye. Coming out with cupcakes. Bam, bam, bam. All right. Hello again. Uh, so it's been about 25-ish minutes. Uh, and they're ready to come out. They smell really good, and I'm really excited. And uh, yeah, we're gonna make the icing while they cool, basically. Yeah, look, look at my oven mitt even has cups on it. Cute. This is a perfect, perfect recipe. It's on perfectly. Okay. Yeah. Look, they're warm. But look, but you can see the little spots. They're confetti -ing. Ah, amazing. So while they're cooling for 15 minutes, I'm just gonna make the icing and then I'll let them cool completely and then we're gonna ice them and then we're done. And like, it's only been maybe an hour. This is like the most quick, exciting recipe I've ever done in my life. Okay, let's do the buttercream frosting, the all-American buttercream frosting. It's like perfect for this, for this dress. Look at those, look at those American colors. Who knew? Craziness. Okay. They smell good. They just smell like sugar. So they're sweet like me. Alright, so this butter has been kind of sitting out. So I'm gonna say it's room temperature enough that I can cream it without it going crazy. Ah! So Alright, that's good. I guess. Has it been three minutes? 
minutes? I don't know. Okay. So I'm just going to add like a buttload of icing sugar and we're going to just go with it. Deliciously vanilla. Delicious. Delicious. Last time we made royal icing with the icing sugar and the egg whites. So this time we're making buttercream. It's a little bit easier because there's less whisking involved. This is just mixing. It's just too much. Ah. I think I'm. I think I've screwed up all these ingredients, but it's fine. It's fine. All right, so I just mix this all together. It's exciting, and you hear. Me. All right. I just add more milk and more sugar. I think it's pretty sweet already, but, you know, I'm going to tell that what to do. I mean, so much sugar. More sugar. More sugar. Look at, there's like literally three cups of powdered sugar in this icing right now. That's, that's just too much. <laughs> it's just too much. I'm not going to lie to you. And I like sugar as much as the next gal, but like, okay. Hooray! We have frosting! It is incredibly sweet. Maybe because there's three cups of powdered sugar in it. Um, I'm just gonna say right now, it's a good thing I'm wearing an apron because that ice and sugar went everywhere. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna let the cupcakes cool, I guess? Or should I just ice them now? Yeah, we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna ice them down because I'm impatient and I want a cupcake at this very moment. Alrighty. Okay, so we're gonna um, frost. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> we're gonna frost. Uh, I don't want to wait for them to cool completely because I am impatient. I know it might melt the frosting, but you know what? I don't care. I just wanna finish this. So, ooh, look at these. Yum, nom, 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 nom. Yum. Maybe I should wait for them to <laughs> cool. <laughs> Oh, I guess I could do it so you guys can see it. So, I might actually wait for them to cool completely. Because this frosting is... looks like it's breaking almost. Eh. Alright, look at that! Just a little bit of red. <gasps> look! Oh... Man. <gasps> Because I realize that I don't actually eat any of the things on the show, like on camera. I eat them afterwards, obviously, but holy moly. <laughs> this is hard to do just like over a, not a table or anything. All right. Mmm. Ah. Mmm. <laughs> mm. They're so sweet. And you can see a little confetti. How fun is that? So I'm done. I'm gonna wait for these to cool. You guys don't have to see it. You already saw the one masterpiece. So, um, yeah, I feel like that was really easy. Like, and really tasty. I didn't forget any ingredients. So, is this turning into a professional baking show? Maybe. I don't know. Do I have the icing on my face? Probably. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you again to Trisha for um, allowing me to wear this awesome dress. And so you guys can see it again. Here we go. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. And thanks for these uh, lovely cupcakes for being so lovely. And to the uh, back in the day bakery recipe. Anyway, uh, yeah, thanks so much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. And let me know in the comments what you want me to bake next. Maybe it'll be bread. Maybe it'll be layer cake. I like this easy recipe route, but I'm not afraid of a challenge. You can take that to the bank. <sighs> okay, goodbye. <gasps>